Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on the polishes that I wore this year actually. It's actually been a quite a long time uh, since I did a polish I wore this month video. Uh, the last one I did was in December and as you guys know it was due to school and grade 12 and exams. But um, I'm going to show you all the polishes that I wore so far in this year till July. And honestly, there's not a lot. Um, the reason I haven't been able to make videos was also the, the same reason that I haven't been able to paint my nails a lot. But now I'm getting really back into it and back into wearing nail polishes. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I've also been really out of the loop with the new nail polish collections. Like, I actually don't know any new nail polish collection. I can't name any of the new polishes because I've not been following any of that type of stuff. Um, my new recent addiction has been books. Um, but yeah, so once I started getting free time, I didn't even, you know, update myself with all these polishes that have been coming out. So I've just been obsessed with books recently. But I am kind of shopping my own stash, which is really good because I don't want to be wasting more money on polish since I have three racks full of polish. So I think it's best that I don't know about the new collections. Um, but if there is any new nail polishes that are coming out that you think I need to check out, you could let me know just in case. But um, yeah, it's best that I I probably don't know it. But anyways, I'm going to go through all the polishes that I wore this year. Definitely not a lot. It could literally be like two months for someone. So yeah, don't um, don't be intimidated by how long you think you're going to be here because you won't be here for long. So the first polish has quickly become one of my all-time favorite nail polishes. And by the way, I don't have any polish right now because I'm letting my nails breathe for a bit. But this is Sinful Colors Starfish, and this is a gorgeous, really, really light, um, nudie mauve pink. I got sent this um, in my swap with Steffi Ray. We swapped like about a year ago um, in April. A bunch of polishes that we can't find where we live, and also we swapped some goodies some candies which is really really fun I actually want to do another swap that was actually so so fun I'm gonna link it down below if you haven't watched it but um, yeah I really wanted this because I think she swatched on her Instagram and I was like I've never seen that in Canada sinful colors is kind of like a hit or miss type thing in the stores here in Canada like you might go to a store where all the new collections are out and they have like all the famous colors or you might go to a store where they have like the randomest colors it's just it's not consistent, um, like we don't have a Walgreens or a Rite Aid where I could just get the new collections. So I wanted her to pick this one up for me in case I couldn't find it and I didn't. Um, it's just so, so, so gorgeous. Two coats, it's an easy formula and it just looks so flattering on the nails, so clean and pretty but also interesting. I absolutely love it. Quickly became one of my favorite pink nail polishes ever. It's amazing. you got to get your hands on this, especially since it's sinful colors. So it's like if you're in the U.S., it's readily available and it's fairly inexpensive. I think they're around $2. So get you some of sinful color starfish because it's absolutely gorgeous. The next combination was breathtaking. I loved this combination. Um... So it was two Essie polishes, and the first one was Bikini So Teeny, and this is a gorgeous cornflower um, periwinkle blue type color. It's like a baby cornflower periwinkle blue. So, so stunning. Um, it has little, sorry, it has little, little silver sparkles in there, but like it doesn't really translate on the nail. Um, it's just so flattering, so bright, so fun. And then I put a coat of Essie's Shine of the Times right on top. Love this topper. This is one of my favorite polishes because literally if you put it over anything, it's just going to make it look ten times more amazing. Um, it's this flaky, but it flashes like from a green to a... I don't know if you can see that, honestly. It flashes from a green to an orange to just tons of colors. It's so stunning. Um... And on top of Bikini Sotini, 
it was the most gorgeous combination. I don't know how I thought of it. Oh, I think I saw M.I. Cake. Um, I'll link her down below. She's also another nail polish YouTuber. Uh, do like a similar combination. Um, so I tried it out with like the ones that I had. Um, like polishes that I thought looked similar. And it just became an amazing combination. I got so many compliments on it. It was so beautiful and mesmerizing. And I absolutely loved it. So... I really recommend like a periwinkle blue color with Shine of the Times. It's beautiful. Then the next polish I wore was by China Glaze and it's called Pixelated. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but it's a really gorgeous um, kind of light, bright nude color. It has a little bit of like a pinky beige creamy um, hue to it. It's it's different. It's a very, very creamy kind of colored nude. I wore two coats of it. Um, I actually got a lot of compliments on it, but I wasn't super obsessed. Like, it definitely is a really gorgeous nude, but I think I have nudes that I like a little bit better than this. It was pretty nonetheless. I really liked it, and these type of colors I don't mind having in my collection in abundance because I always gravitate towards them, especially in the winter or as kind of like a palette cleanser. So I don't mind having a bunch of these, but I just wasn't astonished. But anyways, it's a gorgeous color, two coats. It was pretty easy to work with. The next polish um, is by Sinful Colors, and this is Strawberry Milk. Again, another polish that I got in my swap with Steffi Ray. It's from the Candy Johnson collection, and it's a gorgeous strawberry milk color. It's called Strawberry Milk. It's the best way to describe it. Um, it dries in like a semi-matte kind of finish, which I love, uh, along with this color. Um, it also has a little bit of gold shimmer that doesn't translate up the, on the nail, but it does give it like a little bit of a pop. It's beautiful. I can't ever have enough pinks because pink is just my favorite color to wear, so I absolutely love this. And then for my actual Valentine's Day polish, um, I wore Zoya uh, China, which is a pixie dust, and this was absolutely gorgeous. It's a red uh, jelly base with tons of like bright red metallic glitter. And it's basically the texture version of uh, Ruby Pumps, which I'll actually get for you right now. It's almost identical to it, but it's a texture version. So um, if you always wanted like a textured version of Ruby Pumps, this is the polish for you. I absolutely love the Pixie Dusts by Zoya. They're my favorite textured polishes. Um, they're always so pigmented. Uh, dry so fast are so insanely sparkly. They're just amazing and definitely a polish for like an on the, on the go They're really opaque and they dry so fast and you don't need a top coat. So Love the pixie dust. I don't know how many times I've talked about the pixie dust on my videos like it's Constant I love them so so much Then another Zoya, I um, wore Lake, and this was a polish that I wanted for so long. It was on my lemming list for so long. I don't know where I saw it, um, but I just thought it was stunning. And it's like this really, really light, kind of dirty, dusty, kind of like a pond, murky, light blue-gray. And I was really excited about it, but I was kind of underwhelmed. It kind of fell short for me. Um, it actually is probably one of the polishes I'm going to de-stash. It was pretty, you know, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't anything that I would really want to wear again. And I have too many polishes um, to the point where I just don't see a reason for having a polish that I'm not going to wear again in my collection. So I'm probably going to de-stash this. The next one is by I Love Nail Polish, and this is Fired Up, and this is a stunning, stunning um, holographic silver micro shimmer with this really, really intense gold, uh, orangey, fiery flash to it. 
so pretty so unique definitely a color that is gonna get everyone's attention definitely a color that's gonna get your attention so if you're driving be careful it's beautiful I absolutely love it and um, I think it required three coats but it's so unique I don't know I love nail polish really makes the most unique colors of all it's just they're just stunning so yeah that is uh, fired up by I love nail polish Okay, and then the next polish that I wore was um, Lucky Lucky Lavender by OPI. And this is like a polish that was on my loving list for forever, and I never gotten the chance to pick it up because I don't usually like to pay for OPI full price, so I wait for them to come to like um, Winners, Marshalls, anything like that. And then I finally found it there, and I wore it, and I really loved it. I know it's one of Steffi Ray's favorite colors of all time so I really was excited to try it and it was definitely a gorgeous color um it's just this beautiful like purpley pink bright color it's just gorgeous it's a stunning lavender purple color um and it was really easy to work with super smooth formula it's a two to three coater I think you could get away with two coats if you have short nails but if you have longer nails you might need three but it's a really beautiful color so loved that one and then this is one of my all-time favorite polishes this is OPI's Teenage Dream I wore this for prom um, because my dress was kind of like a nude satin pinky color and it's just stunning three coats it's one of my all-time favorite glitters it's a kind of dense um, pink sparkly base with tons of holographic silver glitter mixed in there and it's really stunning like I'm telling you guys this is the most gorgeous polish in the world you can't find it anymore. I actually got lucky finding this at Marshalls like two years after the release date while it was extremely popular, which was really, really shocking. It's it's so beautiful, um, and it's my second bottle of it, so it's really stunning. And then I wore just white nails, and I forgot how much I loved and missed white nails. It's such a gorgeous palette cleanser. Um, it looks and makes you look so tan, and I loved it. Uh, I had to wear, I think, three coats of it. Um, it's, whites have like a notoriously horrible formula, but I did hear from Miss Holly Berries that the new Sally Hansen Insta Dry White is an amazing white and it's also from the drugstore so if you're looking for a new white I would actually recommend that over this because this is OPI price and it's not that good you need like two to three coats it's tricky but so gorgeous so yeah definitely one of my favorites to wear um, in the summer then I wanted like a really quick one coat polish because I was running late to work and I wanted my nails painted and I picked up Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue and this is just a gorgeous really really vibrant um, cornflower blue and I love it I absolutely love it I don't want to talk about this too much because you've heard it for years and years and years on polish tube but it's really stunning and you can't get it anymore so I don't want to be that annoying person who raves about things that are discontinued Next one is also another one that I might destash. This is Don't uh, Papa Don't Peach by China Glaze, and I recently wore this, and it's a really gorgeous um, bright red orange neon with these gold uh, sparkles in there. I would describe the formula of this polish as in between a texture and a regular polish. Like halfway through painting my nails, I was still wondering whether I'm gonna leave it without a top coat and it's gonna be a texture, or if it was just a regular polish. It was really, really weird, um, and I feel like it's a mixture of two of one of my favorite polishes ever. Um, let me get them for you. Uh, I felt like it was a mixture of these two polishes. So this is Color Club's Study Buddy, which is a gorgeous like neon pinky coral color. It's so stunning. And um, OPI's Jinx. And it 
really is. Like it's it's like you mix a little bit of this in Jinx and got this kind of like a weird, not texture, but not regular formula polish with that pinky tone, but that orangey sparkle. I don't know. I'd rather wear these two on any occasion than this. So it's just no point in me keeping it. So I'm going to de-stash this one actually as well. And then the next polishes I wore together um, were these two sea foamy green summer fun colors. This is OPS Mermaid's Tears, which is one of my all-time favorite polishes. I don't know how many times I've worn it. Again, I don't want to um, talk about this too much because I don't think you can find it anymore. You probably could if you you know, try it online, but it's a gorgeous seafoam green, and I'm not into these colors a lot, so the fact that I love this polish says a lot. Um, it's just kind of this slightly dusty, soft seafoam green, and I just love it so much, and the formula um, reminds me of why OPI is just a super famous brand, and why I used to love them so much. The formula was super silky smooth, two coats. I was just, I just fell in love with OPI again once I wore this. It was just such a breeze to apply. It's, and then on the accent nail, I wore um, Confetti by Sinful Colors, also another polish that I got from my swap with Steffi Ray. And this is a really cute uh, glitter that has matte green metallic blue and matte white glitters with some holographic ones thrown in there. Um, unfortunately, this was a really sucky polish. It was a lot of clear base and not a lot of glitter, so when you were applying it, you really had to fish for the glitter, and it became a really chunky, bubbly mess because a lot of the clear polish would get on the nail as opposed to the glitters, which is what you want. So it's not a great glitter polish, but it's a really cute one, and for the accent and nails, it wasn't too much of a fuss. But if you're looking for like a nice glitter, like a good quality glitter, this is not where it's at. And then the last polish, which I actually just took off um, right before filming this video, is by Color Club, and it's called Yum Gum. And it's a really, really old polish of mine, and I actually de-stashed it. Like I was looking through my de-stashed polishes um, from long ago, and I saw it there. I was like, why the heck was it there? Because um, I was thinking of wearing like of a bubblegum pink and then I couldn't find yum gum. I was like, where the hell did I put it? And it was in my de-stashed polishes. And I was so confused because I remember loving this polish. But I probably went through this phase where like I wanted to get rid of a lot of polishes and I thought I have enough hot pinks. But I'm really glad that I got it back again because it's honestly so beautiful. Um, it's the perfect bright Barbie bubblegum pink and it literally looks like the bubble gums and the yellow wrappers. I think they're called double bubble. I think. Yeah. The exact same color. It's so bright and it's scented and I actually absolutely love the scent. It's just like this slightly sweet scent that stays for a few days. Love this color. So it's actually kind of being rediscovered as one of my favorites. And the formula on this was kind of horrible. It was really thick. Um, no matter how much thinner I put, it was just kind of like a thick kind of creamy consistency that was really annoying to work with it was just lumpy and just hard to work with like no matter how much thinner I put and how thin the consistency got it just kind of like grouped up and looked weird and it just only looked good and um, once I put the top coat other than that it just looked really weird so the consistency was very annoying it wasn't that good but the color made it worth it so Um, and those are all the polishes that I wore literally from January to July. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know any of the standout polishes that you've been wearing because I want to get back into um, how obsessed I used to be with nail polishes um, and I've recently been painting my nails more so I'm really interested. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!